Hey everyone, it's me Ollie from Retaliate and we're doing another glitch completion and today I'm going to be covering five new Fortnite glitches. Now some of these are older ones but instead we're going to be using the new Zapper Trap. So the Zapper Trap just got added today and I'm also showing you guys a glitch to get it back because it has been vaulted already. It should be added back to the game shortly but I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get it in creative as well. So just before we get into this video make sure you do give the video a like if you enjoyed it at any point. Also if you do want to see more videos by me make sure you definitely do subscribe because we are going to be doing Fortnite glitches almost every single day and we do cover all of the new ones that come out. So if you do want to keep up to date with all of the Fortnite glitches make sure you definitely do subscribe and we are trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. Also, thanks to everyone that's been following my Instagram. I will be shouting you out in my next video. So if you guys do want to shout out my next video, make sure you do follow my Instagram. Also, you guys can see I have a modded skin and that's going to be on my second channel tonight, which is called Retaliate Official. So if you do want to subscribe to that channel, the link will be in the description and I am going to try and get that out tonight. Anyway, let's get straight into this compilation. So as you guys probably know, they added the Zapper Traps today and unfortunately, Epic Games have already removed them from the game. Now they are going to be back soon, hopefully, but there is a bug of them at the moment, so they had to remove them. However, you can actually get them in creative if you do a glitch. So you're going to see they're not in the consumables gallery anymore and they're not even in devices so they should be in consumables but they're not here anymore now thanks to scarlet he's actually made a map with them on so i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get them right now so what we're going to do is we're going to return to the hub so as you guys can see over here in the first rift i've actually entered in the island code now this will be in the description and a huge shout out to scarlet his link will also be in the description so make sure you check him out and all we're going to do once you entered in the code is enter the island now as you guys can see over here we've got all the zapper traps and they go all the way up here now inside of this chest you're going to see this brute spawner now all we're going to do is we're going to place that in a second and you're also going to see we've got some zapper traps here and he's also put them inside of these so we're just going to open up some of these and get a few of them and as you guys can see we've got all of these and once you got everything you're just going to build over here and you're going to put a brute outside of the map now all we're going to do is press it to drive we're then going to exit and you guys are going to see we can actually fly now so once you can fly like this what we're going to do is head back to our island now if you guys aren't aware where your island is it's next to the creative hub so if you somehow can't actually find that island before you do the glitch make sure you build a little platform and you also ping the floor so you know where you are now just make it easier if you actually do build a little platform i didn't actually build one but i'd recommend you guys building little platform outside of the map so you can land on it once you get to your island so as you guys can see here the island's just spawned in it does take a while for it to appear and basically all we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to go really close to the barrier if you've got a platform then just land on it but i don't so i'm going to go close to the barrier like this and i'm just going to fly upwards and all i'm going to do is drop them so i'm dropping them all now and then i'm going to try and pick them up so we're going to go inside of the barrier and we're going to try and pick them up so you guys can see here we've actually got some of them and we got the last one there now once you got them you can actually put them in item spawners like this or you can actually use them so you can see i can actually use them and they do work in everything so if you guys didn't get a chance to use them before they got vaulted you can actually do this glitch and get them back anyway let's get straight into the next one so as you guys can see here i actually have a merge trap and this is actually really easy to do so you can actually do with the new zapper traps which are actually really sick and it does use the old method but it's actually slightly different the way that you do with the zapper traps so all we're going to do is we're going to do the merging glitch first and to do that we're going to swap to our pickaxe and copy at the same time now it is quite easy to do and you can see i've just done it here and once you've done it you want to go outside of your barrier and we're going to place it like this now once we go back in you're going to see once we edit it we're going to actually have two versions of it all we're going to do now is we're going to get the zapper trap and if they haven't added it back to creative yet you do need to get it from here and all we're going to do is we're going to go back over here now we're going to go inside of our inventory and get something else that we want to merge with it so i'm going to do it for the launch pad and now all we're going to do is we want to place a zapper trap first now this is important if you don't place this first it's not going to work now you're going to see it won't actually let you place it and that's because you need to get it into the correct position now it's actually kind of difficult to get it in the right position because it's just completely random so you're going to see if i do something like this and i edit a wall sometimes it will actually increase the chances of us being able to place it now one other way you can try and place it is by going below it like this and then moving upwards and you can see this one's actually worked so i can place it now if you do have any issues trying to place it you can do that and you can see you can actually use them and everything and let's get straight into the next one so there's actually a way to get this up for off grid now this is really easy to do and it's using an old method again and all you want to do is you want to put down one of these galleries here and you can see once you put down these galleries they're not actually on grid so when you copy it it then goes into grid so it's really weird how it does that and you're going to see if we place a floor you can see it's not on grid so i did find this a while ago and you're going to see if we actually use multi-select and we select two things at once it's actually going to keep it off grid so just put a floor down and then multi-select them i just keep it off grid and now we can copy it again and we can try and paste it here and now you can see it's completely off grid so obviously you can see the walls are merging in together and stuff like that and you can actually place these zapper traps so i didn't think you would be able to but you can see if you actually throw them down they will actually place off grid so they place in really weird positions and something else that's really cool is you can actually do it with the floors as well so you're going to see if we do it with the floor we can paste it over here next to a mountain or something and i'll show you guys that it does actually work so you guys can see here we've got a platform and if we throw this down you can see the zapper traps glitched out and it may not look glitched out it does look normal but you're going to see if we do place down walls and stuff and floors you're going to see it's completely off and it's on the side and stuff like that and let's get into the next one so it's actually a first person glitch that still works in season 10 now i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it and all you need to do is you want to put baller outside the barrier like this and once you've done this all we're going to do is we're going to go to weapons and we're going to get the problematic gun and we're just going to drop it and then going to go outside of the barrier and we're going to pick up the gun so we've got the gun here and all we're going to do it may take a few attempts but you want to have the gun selected like this and then we're going to enter the baller and you want to park it next to the barrier so you want to have it around here and you're going to see once we exit we will be in first person 
person. As you can see, we can look around and stuff, and we are actually in first person. It's a really weird look. I'm pretty sure it makes your field of view a lot bigger, and obviously this won't work in public games, unfortunately, but it is still really cool to do in creative, and let's follow the map in first person. And let's get straight into the next one. So the final glitch was found by Fizzy Ninja, and it's actually really easy to do, and it basically allows you to use your pickaxe as a phone, so you can copy with it, you can paste with it, and you can also delete. Now all you need to do is you want to have your phone selected like this, and you want to put a mech outside of the map. Now we're just going to enter, we're going to wait a few seconds, and we're just going to walk over here, we're then going to exit, and then we're just going to enter the mech again, and we're going to go inside of the barrier. Now you're going to see, once we exit, you're going to see that we can actually delete stuff with our pickaxe. So you can actually copy stuff as well, so you can see I can copy stuff with my pickaxe, and I can actually play stuff, so it's actually really sick that you can do this, and other people will see that you are using your pickaxe. So you can more or less do everything you can do with your phone, but with your pickaxe instead. I'm pretty sure you can also use this glitch to delete stuff in the rift zones, so I'm pretty sure Fizzy Ninja showed me that, so you can actually experiment and try and do that if you want as well. And that was the final glitch. So there we go guys, that was all for glitches. If you did enjoy this completion, make sure you do give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, which is called Retaliate Official, if you do want to see how to get this skin. There'll either be a video on it today or tomorrow, so make sure you definitely do subscribe so you don't miss it when it does drop. And it does work in game and everything as well. Also, if you are new here, make sure you definitely do subscribe, because we do upload Fortnite glitches every single day, and we are trying to get 100k by the end of the year. Also, a huge shout out to everyone that's been using code Retaliate in the item shop, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.